friends assalamu alaikum welcome to the next topic of the all rounders today our topic is about two continents of the world that are asia and africa so let's begin with asia asia is the largest continent in the world it is divided into several regions of western central east southeast asia subcontinent and middle east now we will talk about western and central asia russia russia covers a large part of western and central asia it is the largest country in the world with nine time zones the capital of russia is moscow 75% of russia is located in asia and 25% of it is in europe which amazingly accounts for 40% of europe's land area the land is mountainous and hilly in most of the, this region it is mostly dry with deserts and some grasslands it holds one quarter of the world's freshwater lake baikal the oldest and the deepest lake in the world 30 million years old and 2442 feet deep is also found in russia it also has the world's largest forests minerals and energy resources the central asia state are rich in oil and gas resources large oil and gas resources which are being developed the western and central asian states neighboring russia are georgia armenia azerbaijan turkmenistan uzbekistan tajikistan kyrgyz republic and afghanistan east asia china china is the largest country in this part of asia it is also the most populated country in the world with over 1 billion people it also has one of the world's oldest civilizations and languages beijing is the capital of china the southern and eastern parts of china a fertile farmland as they receive rainfall most of the year the land in the west is very mountainous and in the north there are large deserts the himalayan mountains are in the south of china sharing borders along with india pakistan nepal and bhutan The Yangtze River is the longest river in China which provides a irrigation to a large part of the country. The Yellow River is the second most important river in China. Most of the people live here as it is a fertile region. In the north of China lies Mongolia. Mongolia is sparsely populated country inhabited by nomadic people. Ulaanbaatar is the capital of Mongolia. Japan. Japan is furthest east in Asia. It is a cluster of over 6000 islands. The four largest islands are Honshu, Hokkaido, Kyushu and Shikoku. which account for 97% of the entire land area. Tokyo is the capital city of Japan. Japan is a mountainous country with many active volcanoes. Japan has advanced in technology and industry after the Second World War. It has an organized system of agriculture. It is one of the leading industrial states in the world. North and South Korea. North and South Korea are also in East Asia. Korea is in the peninsula of China. North Korea is on the mainland to the in the north. The capital of North Korea is Pyongyang. South Korea is in the southern region of the Korean Peninsula. 
The capital of South Korea is Seoul. Southeast Asia Malaysia, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Brunei, Indonesia, Singapore, East Timor, Philippines, Myanmar, and Taiwan are the states of Southeast Asia. These states in Southeast Asia have thick vegetation and forests. There is an abundance of rainfall in this region during the monsoons. Therefore, it is agriculturally rich and exports rice, coconut products, and sugar. Fishing is also a major industry of the Southeast Asia. The Asian subcontinent. The central and southern parts of Asia are also known as the subcontinent. India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, and Maldives are the countries in the region. India is the most populated country with a population of over a billion people. The subcontinent is largely a fertile and agricultural area. There is an abundance of annual rainfall in most of the region. The vegetation is mostly tropical in this region. The crops of this region are rice, pulses, cotton, maize, wheat, oil seeds, barley, and coconut. The region is rich in mineral resources such as coal, natural gas, oil, limestone, marble, diamond, copper, and other minerals. Some western parts of the subcontinent are dry and hilly. There are large deserts in India and parts of Pakistan. The northern areas are mountainous. The great Himalayan mountain are to the north of India. Mount Everest, the highest mountain in the world, is in Nepal. Now we will talk about Middle East. The western part of Asia is known as the Middle East. It is the region where the continents of Europe, Africa and Asia meet. The Middle East comprises of 17 countries, namely Iran, Iraq, Syria, Turkey, Lebanon, Israel, Palestine, Jordan, Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Oman, and Yemen. Like Russia, Turkey is also a transcontinental country. 97% of the Turkey lies in Asia, while 3% of its land lies in Europe. The Middle East is hot and dry in summers, but moderately cold in the winters. Some of the land is desert. Areas near the Mediterranean are known for farming of olives, cotton, saffron, grapes, wheat, dates, and tobacco. The longest and one of the oldest rivers in this region is Euphrates, which is approximately 2,700 kilometers long. The Dead Sea between Israel and Jordan near Turkey is one of the lowest places in the world with measurements of 43 meters or 1,388 feet below the sea level. The salt content is extremely high in this sea. This is why no one can drown in the water of the Dead Sea. The Middle East is rich in mineral wealth. It is the largest producer of oil and gas and exports fuel to the world. So guys, let's talk about the second continent that is Africa. Africa is the second largest continent in the world. The area of Africa is about 30 million square kilometers. Africa has the largest number of countries totaling to 54 sovereign states. Algeria is the largest country in Africa and the smallest country is Gambia. 
The island of Madagascar is also considered a part of the large continent. Africa is a warm continent as it lies on the equator. It has tropical grasslands, deserts, mountains, and thick rainforests. Southern Africa is densely vegetated with tropical forests and grasslands. The highest peaks in Africa are Mount Kilimanjaro at 5,895 meters and Mount Kenya is the second highest mountain at 5,200 meters. Lake Victoria, one of the largest lakes in the world, is also found in Africa. It borders Tanzania, Kenya, and Uganda. Africa also has the longest river in the world, which is the Nile River in Egypt. The northern regions of Africa are dry savanna or deserts. The Sahara Desert in North Africa is the largest non-polar desert in the world with a total area of 94 lakh square kilometers. Africa is home to many species of animals. These animals are camels, lions, leopards, giraffes, elephants, zebras, antelopes, deers, rhinoceros, hippotanus, gorillas, and many species of monkeys, birds, and insects are natives of the African continent. People of many different groups live in Africa. Arab people live in northern regions, whereas the southerners are mostly black African tribes. There are over a thousand languages spoken in the continent. Many people still live as nomads and in tribes, while some people work in large cities and live in modern conditions. Most of the African countries are agricultural. Some are developing their industries and mining. The main products of Africa are fruits, cocoa, fish, coffee, peanuts, cotton, palm oil, and rubber. Africa is rich in mineral resources such as copper, diamonds, gold, and fuel oil. So guys, this was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe our channel, The All Rounders. Hit that notification bell so you can get the notifications for our next videos. This is all for this videos. Allah Hafiz.